Hello everyone, it's Elena and I'm back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys my Cambridge College which is St. John's College. The red building over here is the Old Divinity School which is part of St. John's College and opposite the Old Divinity School is the main entrance of the college and for this entrance you'll usually go if you're a tourist or you know if you live nearby um, but there are a few other entrances in case you live at the other end of college so you don't always have to go for the entire college. And now we're walking into Press Court and right past the Porter's Lodge. So the Porter's are the people in college where you can ask any questions if you ever have anything or if you ever need directions, they will definitely be able to help you. And here in First Court, there's actually some student accommodation. So it's pretty cool if you can live here and look at the chapel. And now I'm walking towards our pigeon holes. So this is where we get any physical mail that isn't too big so that you can just come and collect it anytime you want. If you get any bigger parcels, you can of course receive them in college, but then you'll get an email and you have to go and pick them up. And on our way to second court, we actually pass the hall and this is our formal hall where we go and we have our formal dinners. So you can sign up for these during the term and this is what it looks like when everybody's there wearing their gowns. It really has some Harry Potter vibes and I absolutely love going there with my friends. So you can just sign up for it. Um, it's almost any day in the week and um, it's usually a free course meal and it's pretty cheap for college members. So it's a really, really cool thing to do with your friends. And now we're in second court. Um, there was a lot of offices here, so um, you may have to meet some of your teachers here for supervision, or um, maybe also your teachers who will take care of you during the term. And then for second court, you can actually get to chapel court. So in chapel court, you have our library, and this is the modern part of the library, so this is where we actually study. Um, but there is also an old library in the college, so. This is the library which we don't really have open for studying but you can go over, take a look at really old books and of course you have a really good view of the chapel. Right through the entrance of our library is the IT help desk and they are super super helpful so if you ever have any IT issue you can go there. And now we're in the old library. So the old library is where the college stores any really really old books and also some study notes from former students. And you can go over and take a look at anything. It's pretty cool. Um, they are open every day during the staffed hours of the library. And as a college member, you have free access. But the coolest thing about the old library is the upper part, in my opinion, because it looks really, really gorgeous. And it really gives you these really cool Cambridge vibes because everything in there is really, really old. And just walking around it makes you really appreciate the long history of the college. Now obviously we don't study in the old library, so we also have a lot of study spaces in the modern part of the library, as you can see here. And the library has five floors, so you have a lot of study space to choose from. And personally, I love going to the silent room because I'm somebody who studies best um, when there's no noise around. Um, but I still like having people around to just, you know, motivate myself. So the silent study room is my favorite place to go in this library. And this is what a silent study room looks like and they have this really really gorgeous place there which is my absolute favorite study spot because you can go over and just study looking at the lawn and the house of the master's lodge so it's a really great place to go and from chapel court you can also get to north court north court is a court where you might live as a first year undergraduate student but remember that all the rooms in north court are set so you will definitely have somebody to share your kitchen and bathroom with and then we're back in second court and from there we can get to the junior combination room which is a student union of the college and they have a room where they have a table tennis place and a few other things where we can just go all the time if we want to hang out and then there's also the college bar and the buttery so the buttery is where you can go anytime um, for lunch dinner or breakfast except for some days where they don't serve breakfast um, but the food is really pretty good i really like it and it's quite affordable so it's a great place to go if you're somebody who can't cook like me 
And then further back you can get to the Bridge of Sighs, which is probably the main attraction of our college. Um, a lot of tourists come here to take pictures, but you also have a really great view here of the River Cam. You can often see people punting and it's just a really really nice place to go because it is really really beautiful and I think there's also the most beautiful side of the college because New Court looks really amazing. So right here you can see New Court and I think it really looks like a postcard that you could send from Cambridge so that's why I absolutely love New Court. And then right through New Court um, there's actually some student accommodation here so you might live here in your second or third year if you come to John's. And there's also some offices here so you may have supervisions or tutorial times here. And then right through it, there is Crips, which is where most first year undergraduate students live. And if you get really, really lucky, you get one of the penthouses on top, which are pretty cool because they actually have two floors. So yeah, you might get really, really lucky. One of the great things about Crips accommodation is that the laundry room is in Crips. So it's really convenient because you don't have to walk very far. Also, by the way, guys, doing laundry is free in college. So you don't have to pay for anything, which is really, really great. And then right here is one of the oldest buildings of the college, which is the School of Pythagoras. And then right through it, a little bit hidden, is the art room. And there's actually a college club for doing art. So if you want to go there to paint, you can just sign up for it and they meet every once in a while. And then we're back in New Court, so this is what New Court looks like from the other side. And I think it's a really, really beautiful part of the college, which really has these like old Cambridge vibes in a way. And also in New Court, there is a little mailbox in case you want to mail any of your essays to your fellows. And this is what the Bridge of Sighs looks like when you're on it. As a tourist, you're normally not allowed to be on the bridge, but if you're a student, you can come here anytime. Also, fun fact, there were two student pranks where they let a car hang from the Bridge of Sighs. If you want to know more about that, I'm going to link it in the info box below. I think it's pretty cool that students at John's did that twice, um, and they still don't know who did it. And now we're in third court, where there's a lot of offices of teachers. And from third court, you can easily get back to first court, where there's the chapel, which is the last thing that I want to show you guys. So the chapel is open to people of any faiths, which is something I really want to stress because you don't have to be a Christian to go and talk to the chaplain if you want any advice, which is something that is really important for the college because obviously we want to be open for everybody. And fun fact, if you're a Jonian, you are actually allowed to get married here, which is pretty cool because the chapel is absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, that was my tour of St. John's College. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.